Well, all right. As many of you know, my video yesterday was taken down very promptly, I think within 20 minutes of being up. And all I did was talk about the two New York Assembly bills, A416, A11179. You can look those two up if you'd like. YouTube takes the video down, gives me a community guidelines warning saying I violated said community guidelines. And if you guys can please sign up for the newsletter at frank-stefano.com to stay in touch and updated. You know, I've worked very hard on building my social media personality for the past several years, uploading every single day, you know, giving away free content, information, education, and they don't even have the decency to directly contact me about the video. The violation states, YouTube doesn't allow claims about injections that contradict expert consensus from local health authorities or governing bodies. Thing is, I didn't even say the V word in the video. I didn't state any of my own or personal opinions or anything that goes against those authorities. I simply repeated the assembly bill basically word for word as well as the headlines of several recent news articles. I can understand if YouTube wants to remove my video and just get rid of it like they did when I filmed the hospitals or exposed that nonsense documentary out of shadows, but I don't see how they can justify giving me a warning here. Other people on YouTube are allowed to talk about this. This guy's even using the bill to sell flashlights and survival nonsense. And do I have to say anything about the other content that's allowed on YouTube? Really? It's very obvious who's in the club and who is not. And the problem here is that I was incredibly careful with how I worded that video script yesterday. I made sure not to say any of the actual terms and I made sure not to say anything that goes against guidelines. I don't really know if I'll be able to cover current news anymore on YouTube. It seems really crazy if that video was taken down that I can't talk about official government bills that are trying to be passed in Congress. What kind of censorship is that? It's absolutely crazy. Does it really have to be said? I understand that my channel is directly suppressed because of the topics I talk about, you know, throttling my viewers for about two years now, and even recently, they took away 7,000 of my subscribers after I did a video critique on a Victoria's Secret model. Look, they're tall, they're models, they have wide shoulders, I can't crack a joke? You take away almost 10% of my subs for making a joke? Considering the hundreds of thousands of dollars in ad revenue I've made for YouTube, and the dozens of thousands I've spent personally on advertising on this platform. You, know, you would think I get treated reasonably, but I guess uh, these lunatics in control just print their own money. You know, I don't believe there is anyone else here on YouTube that has produced so much content for so little in return. And if you compare the amount of videos on my channel with the viewership, with the subscriber base, to anyone else on YouTube, the numbers safely do not add up. So as I said earlier, please go to frank stefanocom sign up for the newsletter. I'm working on organizing all of my old videos in a folder. I have, you know, the source files that I uploaded, but I need to rename them and organize them, which is probably going to take me about two weeks along with the thumbnails. And once I do that, I'll start uploading uh, all of my videos to some of these other websites and I'll see if I can just draw more viewers. Under no circumstance am I going to say, hey, go here instead of here, but uh, let's see if I can, let's just see if that does anything. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have that video up anytime soon on another platform, but we'll see. Uh, so if you guys could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And uh, I'll see you guys for tomorrow's video.